Hello and welcome to another Mr Spreadsheet video. Today I will show you how to create your own simple cash book for you to record your business or personal bank or cash transactions. The spreadsheet uses Excel's table creation tool for its basic template and then I use an if statement, I use the vlookup function and finally the dsum command. The completed spreadsheet is very easy to use and can be expanded and adapted to your own specific requirements. As usual, I will explain how you can get a copy of the completed spreadsheet later on in this video. And if you need any help on the Excel functions that I have used, then please leave a comment below. I do hope that you enjoy watching this video. Let's create our cash book by entering the various column headers that we'll need. Navigate to cell C4 and type in date. Cursor one to the right and enter type. In E4 enter description. Cursor to F4 and enter ref. In G4 it's analysis. And finally, in H4, enter value. Now highlight the range C4 to H19. This will become our cash book table. So from the insert ribbon, select the table tool. Accept the values in the dialog box that opens and then check the my table has headers box. Then click OK to complete. Add a total row by clicking the total row option and choose a table style to your liking. Now let's enter some initial data. So on the first row of our cash book table, in cell C5, enter in the date 1st of January 2021. Then, in the description field, type in FRT and Co. And finally, enter the positive value of 3024.80 in H5 for our value. Now, this still leaves us with D5, the type, F5, the ref, and G5, the analysis, still to complete. Select cell D5. We want this to say receipt if the value of H5 is a positive or payment if the value of H5 is a negative. We can use a simple if command to achieve this. So enter the formula equals if open brackets point to H5 and then less than zero comma payment comma receipt and then close the brackets. Notice that the word payment and receipt are enclosed in inverted commas. D5 and indeed the entire D row now populates with the word receipt. Our analysis will consist of any one of 10 analysis descriptions. So let's quickly create these. Navigate to cell J5 and enter in the number 1. And in J6, enter the number 2. And with both J5 and J6 highlighted, drag down to J14. We now have numbers 1 to 10. Now, copy in the analysis types that I have entered in K5 through to K14. You may wish to pause the video to achieve this, or indeed you may wish to actually put in your own descriptions. To make data entry quick and easy, we're going to use the VLOOKUP command to determine which of our 10 analysis types to use on each line of our cash book. We will enter a value of 1 through to 10 in each reference field on each line, so that if we entered a 1 in cell F5, this would automatically retrieve sales 
as this is the value that corresponds to the first line of our analysis types table that we have just created. Let's quickly give the analysis table from J5 to K14 a name. Select and highlight this range and from the formulas ribbon select the define name tool and enter analysis table with no spaces in the name field of the dialog box that opens and then click OK. Enter number one into cell F4 and in cell G5 type in the formula equals the lookup point to cell F5 comma then the word analysis table with no spaces comma the number two comma and then the word false and close the brackets. This says go to the analysis table and look for the row that contains the number in cell F5. Then find that number in the first column of our analysis table and then retrieve the value in the second column of that table. The variable false is mandatory at the end of this formula but for our purposes it is not relevant. Once you complete the formula the value sales is automatically retrieved from the analysis table and populates cell G5. The remaining analysis field will return the NA error which will disappear once a valid reference is entered. Let's test out a new line to see if all of our formulas are working correctly. In cell C6 enter the date 2nd of January 2021 and in the description field type in ABC Limited. Type in the number 2 in the ref field which correctly retrieves the description materials from the analysis table. Finally, enter 632.85 as a negative number in cell H6. Once this number is entered, the word payment shows correctly in cell D6. Now, you may wish to pause the video to now copy in the remaining lines as shown to complete our cash book entries and to validate all of our commands. Now we need to calculate the totals for our cash book. Select cell H20 and from the drop down box select the sum command. The value column now has a total. We would also like to calculate the total values for each of our 10 analysis types. To do this I am going to use the dsum command. The dsum command has three components. Firstly, you need to select the database or data table that you are using. So in our case, it is the entire cash book from C4 to H20. The second component is the value field. Now this is a numeric value that represents the column number that contains the value. So working from left to right across our cash book, we note that the value field is in the sixth column. So the second component of our dsum command is simply the number six. Finally, the criteria is simply the range that contains the criteria type and the criteria value. As we have 10 separate criteria values, number one through to number 10, it would help us to isolate each one of these. So select cell N1 and enter in our criteria field name, which is ref. Then in cell N2, enter in our criteria value for the first of our 10 analysis types. So enter the value one. We can now enter our first dsum formula in cell L5 to calculate the total value of sales in our cash book. So enter in the formula equals D sum open brackets, then select the data table C4 to H20, 
then you need a comma, then the number 6, followed by a comma, and then our criteria of N1 through to N2, and close the brackets. Once you press return, L5 now contains the total value of all instances where reference 1 occurs. Now we simply need to repeat this process for the other nine analysis types. So in cell O1, enter ref again, and in O2, enter the number 2. Now, using the dsum command again, enter the formula into L6 for our second analysis. Once you have completed the dsum commands for each analysis type, select cell L15 and using the auto sum command, enter in the total for L5 through to L14. Hopefully, this will reconcile to the cash book total. Finally, let's do a bit of formatting and tidying up of our completed cash book. Select cell C2 and enter in your cash book title. Make bold and increase the font size. Now, whilst holding down the control key, select the ranges H5 through to H20 and L5 through to L15. And from the formatting dialog box, select numbers with two decimal places and with the 1000 comma separator checked and negative numbers to be preceded by a minus sign. Make bold and increase the font size for the total fields in H20 and L15. And finally, move the values in cells N1 onwards out of the way by simply extending the width column of column N. And that's it. We've now completed our cash book. We do hope that you enjoyed our spreadsheet video and that there was lots of content that you found both useful and informative. Now, if you would like us to send you a copy of this spreadsheet file, then please subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Alternatively, please visit one of our channels on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Now, if you are a small business and want to keep your bookkeeping records in Excel, then why not watch our accounting spreadsheet tutorial? Alternatively, why not view our How to Keep Your Accounts in Excel video? This is our easy to use and inexpensive solution for your small business bookkeeping needs. Thank you once again for watching our spreadsheet video and, oh yes, please do subscribe to our channel.